Hi, I'm Jonathan Mays. I'm an assistant research scientist with the reptile and amphibian subsection of the wildlife section of the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. I've been with the Institute for just under three years now and have a, several projects going on, one of which is a spotted turtle home range and movement study. I'm also working on a statewide cave invertebrate inventory. Um, I'm serving as a co-principal investigator right now with a a project study in seven state listed species in the lower Florida Keys. Also helping out with an upland snake inventory, looking at four of our rare upland snakes in sandhill type habitats. Um, we've also been doing a, a lot of work with river turtles, especially the barber's map turtle and alligator snapping turtle. I grew up in East Tennessee and from a very young age, um, you know, my parents' idea of babysitting was just opening the back door and letting me roam free. So I started naturalizing you know, ever since I was, was really young and have continued on, you know, knew I wanted to, to stay in you know, some type of field where I was working outside. And the older I got, the more I started to focus on wildlife and specifically with reptiles, amphibians, and, and invertebrates. It's hard to pick what I like most best about my job, but it has to be a combination of getting to see a, a lot of the state. I get to work statewide and have been able to, to work on projects as you know, pretty far west in Florida's Panhandle all the way down to the southernmost point in, in the United States in the Lower Keys. Um, but I also like the, the people I work with. It's a, a varied amount of people. Everybody brings something different to the table and I've been able to, to learn and really feed off a lot of the energy that's around. And, and to me, that's you know, probably one of the, the most important things in, in my professional career. One of my research projects is with the spotted turtle, Clemmy's Gitata. Um, this little lady has just been outfitted with a radio transmitter and an eye button to get a, a thermal signature of what types of habitat she's using, you know, if she's up basking in the sun or, or down in the water. Um, we just captured her and are going to release her, send her on her way and learn more about movement, home range size, and habitat use.